Craig here and in today's video tutorial I want to try and explain to you how you can add a tap to call button to your WordPress website. Now you may be wondering do I need a tap to call button? Well I have no idea if you need one but what I do know is that all local business websites that I create I add a tap to call button. Now the reason for this is pretty simple for a local business anyway we want potential customers to call the business and take some kind of action. Now if they're visiting the local business website on a mobile device and there's a clear button with the phone number they can simply press the button with their finger and the phone is going to ask do you want to dial this number. Now I am aware that if even if you have the phone number in a paragraph of text you can also click on that and it will prompt you do you want to call this number. But the idea with this large call to action type button is to get people to tap the button and call the business. So what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial is how you can do it on a theme that doesn't already have this feature. So this test website is using a responsive WordPress theme. I highly recommend responsive themes. What happens is when I shrink the size of my browser window it becomes responsive and once it gets to a certain width which is right here you'll see that the menu changes and elements on the on the website change so that it's more friendly for a mobile device. So what I would like to happen is when it gets to this point right here I would like a button a tap to call button to appear so that it's right at the top below the logo and it's clear if a user clicks on it they can call the business. So how do we do this? Well I'm going to briefly show you how I figured out how to do it. Uh, it's, you do need some kind of experience to do this and I only recommend you do it if you have a complete backup of your WordPress theme so then if something goes wrong you can restore your theme files. So what we're going to need is some code and the code that we are going to be adding to our styles sheet is this right here. Now without getting all technical I'm briefly going to explain how this code works. Basically when the browser window width goes below 650 pixels it will display the, the call class. If you don't know anything about code you're probably lost right now but basically what we have here is a div class and the class is called call. So if we had a web page and we had um, a div class call with some code or whatever you wanted inside the div, it would display this once it got below 650 pixels. And that's basically it, that's all we need to do. And if it was wider than 650 pixels, well it's set to display none. Now you could make it display something else if you wanted to, uh, we'll get into that another time. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is jump back over to our site and we're going to go under appearance and editor and we have to locate our style sheet, the style.css. Now if it doesn't say styles.css up here, you'll have to locate it among the theme files. So if it's not there, click on styles.css and it will load it up. So below this video, I'm going to put a link where you can grab this CSS code. So I'm going to right click and copy it come back over to my theme and I'm going to scroll down until I start to see the CSS code which is right here. So what I'm going to do is right at the very beginning now either go right to the very end or right by the beginning so that if you want to go and remove it it's easy enough to locate. Now this is I forget we call it like a closing bracket or something I'm going to drop down a line and paste in my new CSS code right here. Maybe drop down another line. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to update our file. So now the next step is we have to generate the HTML code so that it will generate this button. Now the easiest way to do this is to create a blog post. You don't have to publish it and you will need some button images. If you don't have any button images and you don't know how to create it, uh, someone over at Wealthy Affiliate showed me this site the other day. It's dabuttonfactory.com. Thebuttonfactory.com. It's pretty easy to use. Enter in your text. You can change a whole bunch of stuff. 
when you have your button ready you can right click it save image as or they also even host the image for you so that's thebuttonfactory.com and that's where I created these free buttons that you're seeing right here so what, what I recommend you do is you create your button create a new test post and then you just add your media and insert your button and then click on your button and we want to give it a hyperlink now if you want it to dial a phone number you will enter in TEL and the colon and then the phone number and then press update and here we have a button request a free quote obviously we're going to do the hyperlink and link it to the request a free quote page so once you have that ready you can jump over to text mode and we have our HTML code ready to go so I'm going to right click and copy this so next we have to take this code and put some additional code around it so what I have in this text file and again there'll be a link below this video where you can grab this code that I'm using right here we need to paste in our code right here in between the the div class call and the closing div tag so I'm going to press Control V and paste it in and now we have it so now the next step is to copy the code that we want to embed into our header file so I'm going to right click and Control C to copy so next we have to decide where do we want our call button to be displayed now as I mentioned previously I would like it to appear underneath the business logo so if you have any experience with WordPress you should already know that this top area here the code for this will be located in the header.php file of your theme so let's jump back over to the theme editor and we're going to click on the header.php and it will load up this file now you may see a whole bunch of code here and be like ah where am I going to paste in this code now the easy thing to do is jump back over to your site and if you're in Chrome you can use inspect element so let's right click over our company logo and press inspect element now you'll see uh, let me just resize this sometimes if you lose what code it highlighted you can scroll your mouse over this kind of stuff and it will highlight in blue what code this controls etc so right here we have div id logo now I know in the header.php file there's going to be a div id logo and I want to paste in my code below the logo so let's now jump back over to the theme editor and we're going to press control F and that will bring up the search function and we want to search for logo and there it jumps straight to it so we have div id logo now as I scroll down you'll see that we have the closing div tag and the end of logo but then I see down here we have another logo now this is because with the theme we can use an image logo or we can use a text logo to display the site title now because I'm using an image logo I have to make sure that I paste my code in at below this logo so I'm going to drop down a line, press Control V and paste in my code, and it's right here. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to update our file. So that has been updated. Let's hit refresh. And now hopefully when we resize our browser, you can see the width there in the corner. We're at a thousand pixels. So I believe it was 650. So there. so what this does is if you can imagine you're a potential customer and you're just close inspect element you're a potential customer you come on here and boom you have a button right here call so because a lot of local businesses when people land on their website that is really what they want to do they want to either request some kind of service or they want to call the business so that is how you can do that now I want to just show you one or two other things here let me open this up again let's jump over to our sample page no it's not sample page where's this post here visual so 
you'll notice that what I've done in this code here is I've added the div, the div class call to the actual post. Now I've, it's already published, I believe. So let's go and view the post. So here we have the two buttons, but there should be a third one. But this one isn't going to come into play until we reach that 650 pixel mark. Yeah. Oh, we have a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I forgot I was playing around. When you're viewing a single post, that is using the single.php theme file. So if you wanted to have something only display on, you know, for mobile phones when they're viewing single posts or pages, well, you could go and add your custom code to the single.php file. You can also add stuff to the footer. You can add it pretty much anywhere. The only thing to remember is make sure that you have a backup so that if something goes wrong, you can restore it. Now, it would be a good idea to use a child theme so that when your theme comes out of an update, you you don't have to redo all of your work again. Because if your, your theme comes out of an update and you update, well, you would have lost all of your custom changes. So I hope that video helped. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to post them below and subscribe if you're viewing this video on YouTube. Have a great day.